I am in love with this book, guys. It is Knits of Tomorrow, Toys and Accessories for Your Retro Future Needs by Sue Culligan. And as soon as I saw the cover, I could not grab this thing up fast enough. I, When I was growing up, my parents had an appliance store, and the logo was the man from Mars in his little space helmet. I don't know if it is that, or watching the Jetsons growing up, or what, but this retro futuristic space stuff really appeals to me and the contents of this book I just there's some things here I want to knit and some that I don't but that's the case with every book I will tell you almost every project in here is color work so if color work isn't your thing maybe these aren't your thing Let's look at the projects. There's the Graphic Equalizer Scarf. This is from Interweave Knits, so it's got great photography. There's a Saturn Mobile with the ring. I like the, the image on the Atomic Laptop Case. Although if I'm going to stitch myself a space-inspired laptop case, there's another one I'm going to do instead. The Space Rocket Desk Sets. I like these. Space Rocket Desk Tidy is what the author calls it. A Flying Saucer Paperweight. I definitely see myself knitting this one. The Space Race Mobile. I do not need a mobile with rocket ships, but suddenly I want one. A Robo Dog Coat. The Cassette Music Player Cover. This is one of my favorites, and I think I would have to look. Yeah, this is, it looks like it's in Tarsha. Robot pot holders. And a lot of these projects, they have, there are 20 projects, but a lot of them have more than one thing included. Circuit board beanie and fingerless mitts. The men's radio mask. Now this one, they're socks. I love this image. My dad is a ham radio operator and has been for decades. This would be perfect for him. Now, I don't know that I have the patience to do fingering weight socks, but I may take the chart for this and do something else, like a laptop cover. How many laptop covers can I knit out of the charts from one book? But I like this, and he is impossible to buy Christmas presents for, so this might be the solution. A circuit board scarf. Mom, if you're watching my videos, don't tell him. A robot cushion cover. This has that retro video game style my kids love. And yes, I know that those are not Space Invader aliens. Those are robots, but I don't care. Sputnik laptop case. This book is really heavy on the laptop covers, but you could also use these charts for so many other things. There's a robot doorstop, a ray gun placemat and coaster. If you had a little kid, you could put these charts on sweaters, and that would be like the best thing ever. A headphone hat. Oh, I wish this book had come out when my kids were that size. A calculator tablet cover. And the reel to reel tote bag. This is, I don't know why, this is one of my favorite projects from the book. I have never had exposure to actual real life reel to reel tape players, so I don't know why I'm so nostalgically drawn to that. It makes no sense. Here's a better picture of it. I need one. And there is also a Starship Afghan. Like I said, I like this book a lot. The colors, the imagery. I did not know that I had such a buried urge to do retro futuristic space stuff, but apparently I do. And I found my copy. It is February 2021. I found my copy at the Dollar Tree, so... 
if you're near their bookshelves and you want this one, maybe check that out. If not, it is still in print. It is not terribly expensive over on Amazon these days. And it's what this is one of those books where it's definitely going to be either it appeals to you or it is does not. It absolutely appeals to me. I'm Michelle. This is my romantic tangle and thank you for watching. I if you're interested in more flip throughs, check out my sewing room bookshelf. I'll put a link in the end card. Let me know what do you think of these? Would you knit anything in here for yourself?